Electricity can be seen in many different forms all around us every day. In nature, we see electricity as lightning during thunderstorms. In animals like the electric eel, and electricity is even stored in the citric acid of fruits like lemons, limes, and oranges. Static electricity is also a very common thing to see when walking on a carpet and wearing socks. But what is electricity? Where does it come from? And what is it made of? Electricity is made of two types of charges, a positive charge and a negative charge. Like magnets, these two charges are always trying to find a way to be next to each other. You have probably seen these markings on batteries that you use with your TV remote control. The plus symbol represents positive charge and the minus symbol negative charge. When the battery is installed into the remote control, the electric charges can flow through the circuit and the remote control works. Let's do a quick experiment to see how positive and negative electrical charges interact. To do this, you will need a roll of standard scotch tape. First, take three 8 cm lengths of tape and tape them on top of each other. If you want, you can label each piece of tape to keep track of them. Now, one at a time, pull each of the pieces of tape off of each other and keep track of which one is which. Now move each piece of tape close to the other pieces. You'll notice that some pieces attract each other and other pieces repel away. When two pieces attract, that means one is positively charged and the other negatively charged. So, the two charges are trying to connect and pair up, like magnets do. The pieces that repel away both have the same type of electrical charge, and therefore do not want to pair up. Now that we have taken a look at what is inside of electricity, let's get to the actual definition. What is electricity? Electricity is the flow of electrical charge called current from one point to another, usually through electrical wires. We define this as positive electrical charges moving through a circuit or wire to meet up with the negative electrical charges that they are attracted to, also called the ground. Two forms of electricity exist that are commonly used throughout the world. They are called AC and DC electricity. DC electricity, short for direct current, is found in any battery that you buy in the store. DC electricity will have a stable and common voltage. For example, this AA type battery will always output about 1.3 volts because of its DC properties. AC electricity, short for alternating current, is most commonly found in power outlets inside of buildings and homes. AC electricity is different from DC because the voltage level is constantly changing between positive and negative. For example, the voltage coming out of this power outlet can be anywhere between plus 120 volts and minus 120 volts. Let's perform a quick experiment using your digital multimeter. First, find some batteries that are lying around your home. They can be a AA type battery or the battery from your cell phone or a 9 volt battery. Switch the digital multimeter to the voltage 20 option and then put the probe tips of your multimeter onto the battery. The red probe should go to the positive or plus side of the battery and the black probe should go to the negative or minus side of the battery. 
do this for any batteries you can find and see if the voltage measured is the same as the voltage written on the battery. Electricity has three properties that we use to describe the theory of what is happening. Voltage, current, and power. We already spoke briefly about voltage, but we never explained what it is. Electrical voltage measured in volts is the amount of energy necessary to move electrical charges from one point to another. Electrical current measured in amperes, or amps for short, is the rate at which electrical charges move from one point to another. Electrical power measured in watts is a product of the voltage and current properties. We use the electrical power property of electricity to know how much energy a device can generate or how much energy a device needs to operate. For example, a 60 watt light bulb uses 60 watts to light up a room, or this 350 watt power supply can generate 350 watts for your desktop computer. Believe it or not, these three properties of electricity can be found on most electrical devices found in your home. For example, here is a generic laptop computer. If we take a look at the bottom label, each of the three electrical properties is listed out clearly. Voltage is 12 volts, current is 3 amps, and power is 36 watts. If you remember back to the theory of power, power is equal to the voltage times the current, P equals I times V. So 12 volts times 3 amps does in fact equal 36 watts. You can look around your home and find various electronic devices, plug the voltage and current values into the P equals I times V formula and see what the power requirement for the device is. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. Congratulations! You now know what electricity is. Next time, we will learn about electrical resistance and the widely used electrical component called the resistor.